medley relay. It may just take that NCAA record of 121.54 to win the title because Cal and NC State in the third heat of four, they came in seated outside the top eight. They both swam 121.69 to set the mark for this group to chase. Yeah, everybody's chasing Arizona State and Cal. No, and trust me, every single one of these teams saw that time pop on the clock. And you see Texas right there, one of the favorites, but flip a coin. You've got at least four teams in here that could win it all. And you're right, Bill, it may just take a record to win it all. Here comes the top seed from Louisville. They were the only team coming in at 121.84. They are the defending NCAA champions in this event, but their roster and lineup looks nothing like the team that won the ACC championship. A lot of moving parts here due to some availability issues for Louisville. So the Cardinals send out a foursome with Nick Albiero leading them off. And don't forget about the Florida Gators in lane number five. They'll be led off by the SEC 100 back champion Adam Cheney and anchored by Will Davis. Adam Cheney, third fastest in history when he led off the Gators at the SEC Championships. You've got a great breaststroker in Moss who went the second fastest in history at SECs for Bama down there in lane two. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to pick this, that's for sure. 121 at 69 is the time to beat. You've got a walk-on, a former walk-on, anchoring for Louisville, Michael Eastman. Talked to Coach Albiero earlier today, and he said he's done everything possible to earn himself on this relay. He's been 18-7. Don't sleep on Virginia Tech at the top of the pool either. They have three <laughs> ACC champions oh out of their God. four in this relay. <laughs> This should be outstanding, and they all have to not just beat each other, but beat that 121-69 time from Cal and NC State. Again, first leg, so important. We've seen it throughout these first few heats. You've got to get off to a great start to give yourself a chance to put yourself in the mix. And Florida looking really good right now. Yeah, Adam Cheney's done just that with a great start 2019 to put Florida out in front. Fastest in history. That's the fastest first 50 backstroke in history. So Florida doing what it needs to so far. Dylan Harris holding the lead in the breaststroke. Alabama's SEC champion Derek Moss coming up toward the front down in lane two. 22-5 for Corbo over Texas. And the Longhorns move right up toward the front. Now here comes a surge right back though in lane number five from Florida at the Tokyo Olympian Eric Reese. Corbo was the fastest in history. You've got two splits and have now been the fastest. And let's see what Freeze does here. He gets it over to Florida's anchor, Will Davis, with the Gators in the lead and pulling away. 19-3-6, and now that's the fastest in history. This is insanity to kick off the NCAA Men's Swimming and Diving Championship. Florida still leading, looking to hold off Texas. What a finish we have, and it is Florida in a record time of 121-13. It doesn't get better than that race, right? It really right? doesn't. I mean, come on. You've got two teams that just smashed the fastest time in history. You've got a guy from Texas that goes 18 flat. And here's the leadoff right there. Fastest in history by Adam Cheney. 20.19. He goes by Ryan Murphy. And you saw Corbo of Texas. Go the fastest in history. He go by Vissering. And then Freeze ties schooling's 1936. And how about an 18 flat by Ahinahi from Texas? But that guy right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Will Davis, what a start for the game. So Florida scores the full 40. And Texas starts its title defense with 34 points per second. Cal and NC State from the previous heat will slot in to third and fourth with their 121-69. Can you believe 121-69 ties you for third at the NCAA championship?
So your top eight from all the heats, Florida, the Texas. Team hits. dynamic that the Gators have. Want to get your anchor leg in here. You had to fend off a late charge. What tone do you hope this acts for your championship meet as the Gators aim to get back in the team title? I hope it starts a strong um, momentum for the team, and I hope that we keep it going for the next relays and every ind individual event that we have. Guys, congratulations. Fantastic way to start the championship. Thank you. Well, you really can't start the championship any more fantastically than that. Records and almost every one of those legs. And Florida setting an NCAA meet record, an NCAA record to score 